What's up guys? Today we're looking at the Potenzik Tarantula X6 quadcopter. This is one of the bigger quadcopters that I've reviewed for around the $100 uh, price range. This one's actually a little bit cheaper than that, but uh, uh, you can buy this one without a camera or you can buy it with a camera. And the camera, there is some assembly to the quadcopter. It does come, uh, you have to put on the propeller guards, you have to put on the landing gear and assemble the... Uh, the camera or mount the camera on the bottom and uh, yeah so it takes about 20 minutes or it took me at least about 20 minutes to get everything uh, set up on that but this is what it is and it, uh, it does have a 2 megapixel camera and the camera does have sound um, so you know usually you don't get too much from the sound except for a bunch of bees or whatnot uh, this quadcopter does have very bright LEDs this might be um, bright, the brightest LEDs I've seen on a quadcopter. Um, that's not like, you know, specially made. Uh, they're so bright that honestly, like I want to turn them off when you're just changing out the battery because they are uh, just so blinding. And what I did is I actually put on the Olight S1 baton and I took off the camera and put on the Olight uh, little flashlight and flew it around and you can tell how bright the Olight uh, flashlight is and then look at the LEDs so uh, just quick example uh, of that because there's some super bright LEDs um, the battery that comes with it is a 7.4 volts 12 1200 milliamp hour uh, batteries and I looked at the directions and they say it takes about 120 minutes on the directions I looked online it said 90 minutes I've flown this a lot the last week and I've been averaging about an hour and um, fly time I get is about five minutes or so five to six minutes um, I guess that just depends on how aggressively you're gonna fly this does have three different modes and in mode two and three this is pretty aggressive yet if you ask me um, so that's fun this also can do flips um, we have a smart orientation mode so you can fly uh, for beginners. Uh, it doesn't matter the orientation of the quadcopter. Um, forward will always be forward, backward will always be back. So uh, it's a nice quadcopter, and the camera. The only thing is, it's uh, supposed to be a two megapixel camera. And I did notice, you know, from the videos, you can see some Jello shake. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it was windy. I haven't really tried to make any adjustments. I'm sure I could make some adjustments. But like I said, I put the Olight on here, so I could also probably attach a different camera on here. Uh, the GoPro might be a little bit heavy, but something like the Mobius or something would work too, and I could probably get some a uh, little bit better footage that way. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the remote. You can see it's kind of a nice white and black. I don't know. I just kind of like the design overall. It does run off of a ton of uh, AA batteries. We have two, four, six uh, AA batteries. So not your normal four, but uh, probably a longer battery life. Anyway, we got the uh, on-off button right here in the middle. And then you can see um, a little display down here. Uh, the channel and the percentage we have an option to turn on and off the lights on the quadcopter by pushing that button this is ac actually a headless mode uh, to where when the quadcopter uh, is in front of you and you want the camera pointed away you can push this and then it will go into the mode to where no matter your orientation um, the directional pad will always bring it back to you um, so it doesn't matter so and it beeps like that to let you know that you're in um, that headless mode down here we have the camera option and this will start video don't forget to always stop your video otherwise you'll lose it and then you got the camera and uh, yeah you got the trims right here this button actually allows you to do flip so you push this and then you push it the direction that you want to flip now once you push it that direction something that I learned is that if you hold it there it'll keep doing flips so if you, you only got so much distance between you and the ground just push it over do the flip and then keep flying again otherwise you're gonna keep flying or flipping and then you might break it kind of like I did uh, over here this is the rate mode this has three different rates you you have one beep for rate one, two beeps for rate two, and three beeps for rate three. So that's basically the transmitter. Let's take a look at the quadcopter here. 
Now I did have to trim the feet down, which I already kind of showed you here. Um, some of these you do have to install yourself. The prop guards here and the lights down here at the bottom, they just kind of fit on there and then the screws and the landing gear actually hold it down. So there is some assembly um, required there. The camera, we can adjust the lens a little bit, not much. I wouldn't even say that's 90 degrees, but you can adjust it, you know, just a little bit. And the battery is underneath uh, this compartment here. And that's the only thing is I don't like is that each time you want to plug in the battery, you got to unscrew this screw and then screw it back down. But there's the battery compartment. There's plenty of room to tuck in the battery down there and for it to stay fit. Now, I, I mean, you can fly it without the screw, which uh, is fine. But if you wreck it, there's a chance that all this will come off and just you might rip a wire or something. So uh, just to be safe, it's probably best to put that screw in there. But this is pretty simple to uh, get on just like that. And yeah, that's basically that. Uh, with the colored LEDs, you got the blue and the red. You can actually put the red in front or the blue in back, whatever you prefer. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty big guy. Uh, pretty big quadcopter and it flies pretty aggressively so there you go the tarantula x6 by potensic i'll go ahead and put a link in the description and that's that thanks for watching